Several people, okay, a lot of people have asked how I get the tulips to puff. And um, there are several fact things that factor into that. One is that is the embroidery design itself, the digitizing of the design. This is a fairly long stitch, not um, not a satin stitch fill. So the stitching is fairly loose and not super dense in there, so that it allows the fabric to remain soft. If I put my glove on, I can show you how how soft it actually is and how supple it is. You can see the fabric. The quilt is not stiff at all. Um, another thing is that I don't use a tremendous amount of stabilizer. I don't use more stabilizer for the machine embroidery than I absolutely need. Just a minimal amount so that I don't have a real stiff tearaway stabilizer left underneath the stitching. Um, Another is that I stitch the embroidery through the quilt top only, not some people have said to you know stitch it through the batting or through all three layers. And I absolutely don't do that. That makes things very stiff and I like to keep things supple. And then the final thing that really creates the puff in the tulips is I use a monofilament thread and I stitch right next to, you know, you know how, how you stitch in the ditch of a seam? Well, I stitch in the ditch of the embroidery, and I stitch right along, the, along every single outline of the embroidery, even in the scrolling parts. Every little outline is stitched with monofilament thread right up next to the embroidery. Then I echo quilt about a sixteenth of an inch away from there one or more times. And so I am compressing the background, compressing the background with quilting around the tulips, yeah. which allows the relatively unfolded part of the tulip to pop up, that in the wool batting. The same thing really with the, with the flowers. The relatively unfolded part and a dense background allows that flower to puff up. And then there's just one other thing that I want to show you on the back. Well, two things, I guess. So, so we'll move around to the back of the slope now. One of the things that I wanted to show you was on the backing. I chose the backing print because it, it mimicked that red scrolly embroidery design on the front. Well, I have a garment sewing background. And so what did I do? But I matched the print when I seamed, when I pieced my backing together. If you look right here, there's a seam. I matched the print so that my backing wouldn't have a jog in it. That's a little pricey maybe, but okay. The other thing that I wanted to show you was that on this quilt, I did even the last step of the binding by machine. The only hand stitches on this whole quilt are the hanging sleeve and the mitered corners of the binding. But if you look on the binding, I stitched the binding down on the back side by machine. Now there's a trick to getting it nice and even. You know, you stitch the binding to the front and you wrap it around to the back. I use water soluble glue to hold that binding down in back before I stitch it. Then I stitch in the ditch from the right side and the binding doesn't scoot this way and that or slide out of the way. It's, it's held in there nicely. And, um, and so you can, you can get a nice, a nice binding finish on the back by machine. And obviously the judges thought it was okay. How so, wide is that bun? Um, it's about, it's about three eighths of an inch, between a quarter and three eighths, I don't know, finished. Uh, I think I started with a one and seven eighths inch, um, strip of fabric and double fold and then fold it around, glue it, I use a lot of glue. And then obviously you have to soak it, you don't want that glue to stay in there. Um, soak it for quite a while. My, put it in the washing machine tub and then gentle cycle spin it down. And then lay it out on the floor and close the door so the cats can't get in on it. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I've already started on a new quilt. In fact, it's almost finished. Um, machine embroidery, yes. Radiance fabric, yes. Lace, yes. But it won't be finished for a while because I made a major mistake on it and um, it's put away for now because I just couldn't deal with it. Uh, hopefully, maybe next year, I don't know, but uh, we make mistakes here in the winter circle too. <laughs> <laughs>